Bonjour à tous and welcome back to French in Plain Sight. Now on my channel I spend a lot of time talking about speaking French with confidence. However, a big part of feeling confident in conversations is your ability to understand what comes back at you from the other person. And in the past 18 months to two years, I, me personally, have started listening to French music on a far more regular basis than before. And I've seen my comprehension improve a lot. So in this video, I want to give you my top five reasons for why you should devote a considerable amount of your precious time and energy to listening to French music as part of your regular routine for French. Du coup, si vous êtes prêts, allez, c'est parti. Alors, music is a fantastic tool because there's so much repetition. Now, of course, this is true for some songs more than others, but it's rare to find a song that doesn't repeat lyrics. Look at this from Stromae's famous Alors on Danse. Now, I can't play the song here because of copyright reasons, unfortunately, but here are the lyrics for the chorus. <laughs> right? It's just alors on danse over and over and over again. Now, it's impossible to not have that whole chunk stuck in your head after just one listen, let alone after four or five. Maybe you know about the word alors, but aren't so confident in knowing how to use it. When you've heard it at the start of several sentences, used across several scenarios, you'll feel much better about using it yourself. And then when you just start using a new word, the momentum starts to build very quickly. Now from the same song, the first verse is full of repetition, but rather than every line being the same, we just see portions of the lines that repeat. Qui dit étude dit travail, qui dit taf te dit l'étude, qui dit argent dit dépense, etc. Now, it doesn't matter if you understand all the words, but hearing the same words in different combinations will lead to the repeated parts sticking in your brain. And when they stick in your brain, you understand them when you hear them elsewhere in other contexts. If I give you a song to listen to and then ask you to tell me the words, you probably won't do a very good job. But if you listen to it five, 10, 50, 100 times, you'll get better and better very quickly, especially if you're playing with the words out loud or mumbling to yourself in between listens or while you're listening. So it's repetition in terms of hearing the lyrics, but also using the lyrics. With a TV show or movie, it's hard to make yourself watch more than once, right? Because it's a 45 minute TV show or two hour movie, you're not gonna watch that again right away. But with your favorite songs, you can easily listen to them several times a day and be a master of them within a couple of months or less. So repetition is my first reason why you should spend more time integrating French music into your routine because you get to hear it over and over again, the lyrics within the songs, but also the songs themselves many, many times in a day. And think how much that adds up in a week or a month. Ensuite, let's talk about rhythm, rhyme, and melody. Songs have a natural flow and rhythm, which mirrors the way people speak in everyday conversations. Now, I saw this clip not long ago from a public speaking coach, and he asked the audience if they were more likely to recall more from a page of text they just read or a song they just listened to. Who here has a book that they've read more than 10 times? If I asked you, to recite for me just one page from the book that you've just raised your hand for, could you recite the one page for me? Yes or no? Okay, good. I'm, I'm glad you didn't put your hands up. Otherwise, again, would have ruined my point. But let me ask you this now. How many of you in this room have a song that you absolutely love and you sing all the time? Raise your hands. Okay. How many of you in this room could recite the song word for word? Okay, interesting. A song has roughly 280 words. A page in a book has roughly 280 words. Why is it we can recite a song but not a page in the book. A song has melody. Of course, most said that it would be with the song. Pourquoi? Melody. Attaching melody to words makes them easier to recall for our brains. It's that simple. There's a particular lyric that I had in my head for hours the other day, and I'm sure you've experienced this too with songs in English, and maybe already in French. That lyric in particular stuck with me because of its flow and its parts that rhymed. I then sung it to myself over and over and over again when I was alone or when I was doing something else. And that contributed even more to me remembering it, but also feeling confident in reproducing it. And I like playing with words. Now here it is on the screen right now. 
Without hearing it, it doesn't seem to have any repetition. Nothing really obvious. However, upon hearing it with the original melody, it becomes instantly more memorable. It's something like this. L'avenir appartient à ceux qui se lèvent à la rouge me couche. <laughs> something like that anyway. And what determines what one person likes, what one person doesn't like, plays a big part in this, right? This line in particular tickled me. But it may not do the same for you. That's not really the point here. The point is that the melody and the rhyme and the rhythm of this lyric caught my attention and it then led me to using it and hearing it over and over again. And rhythm, rhyme and melody really have the benefit of helping you practice real world pronunciation too. For example, in everyday French, you won't often hear où je me couche. The parts will separate separated like that. You'll hear it more like ouj je me couche, something like that. Put it together, ouj me couche, ouj me couche. So when you immerse yourself in it and you're hearing it over and over and you're repeating just these blocks of sounds, you end up being able to pronounce them better where, than if you just tried to read the written form and put it into some kind of spoken form, which is very difficult in French because of their pronunciation rules. So anyway, by immersing yourself in French music, you're tuning your ears to the authentic cadence of the language. It's like a symphony of comprehension, if you like. L'avenir appartient à ce qui se lève à la rouge me couche. That took me a lot of practicing, but it's fun, so I keep doing it. Now, here's some real magic, emotional connection. Music can touch your heart, and when you connect emotionally with French songs, it creates lasting memories. Of course, you can emotionally connect with just the melody, but when it comes to learning French through music, you need to connect with the words, right? And a beautiful moving melody will only add to that, as we've already mentioned. For example, I love songs that are introspective and that don't just talk about superficial things. I connect with those words because I feel understood and part of something greater. <laughs> I feel an emotional connection to songs because of those things. But you need to find what connects you to songs in particular. Or you don't even need to think about it too much. You will gravitate naturally to songs that you like, right? Thing is, I'm much more likely to go back to those songs and as you know already, more listens mean more repetitions which mean better recall and better comprehension, right? The people who become the best at foreign languages are those who have the greatest personal connection to the language and the challenge of learning it. They can't help but work with and practice it because it gives them so much fulfillment. And music can help you bolster a strong why, but also help you create one and form a tight bond between yourself and the language that you're learning that you may not have even anticipated before you get stuck in and try listening to music more and connecting with the words. And if you want to be able to understand more of the lyrics in songs, and I found this great tool recently called uh, Roxum, which I'll link down below in the description. It's not a sponsored video, but I like the tool and it can help you understand songs because of its powerful activities. But also I just listen using Spotify and most songs now have a lyrics feature and I can just click on the microphone and see the lyrics and read it as I go through. So now let's talk about associative learning. When you hear a particular word or phrase in a song, it becomes linked to the music. It's like having your very own mental dictionary set to music. And this association helps you effortlessly recall and understand the language because it's been given a context. Certain words or the way they are produced can create a very unique image in your mind. And often not even images of whatever the word represents. It's going to be attached to memories that you already have that is sparked by that word and that just reinforces it even further. The process has created a connection, neural connection, in your mind which is going to help you recall the words later on. And for songs that you really connect with, those extra special ones, for obvious or less than obvious reasons, often you're going to remember things like where you were when you were listening to it, which is really fun. And so for example, even though I've listened to the song La Quête probably like a thousand times since I discovered it in April 2022, whenever I think about that song or I start playing that song, I remember exactly where I was. I was going for a run in Javier in Spain in uh, April 2022 and that will always stick with me and be directly attached to that song and that album in general. 
And all this contextual information is so helpful and it forms very visual memories that remind you of how far you've come since particular milestones in your French journey, which are all positives. And the more positives we can have, the more we're motivated and inspired to continue. Music has the advantage of being something that you can give either all your focus to for a few minutes or something that is more in the background and still have benefits. Music, particularly a melody or lyrics that are meaningful to you, as we've mentioned before, captures your attention, which allows you to immerse yourself in the language. And we always say, oh, immersion's the key, immersion's the key. Well, you don't have to be in France to do that. You can immerse yourself from your home through music, TV, books, and online conversations. So like a good book, but you're actually listening to and hearing the language. You're not just listening, you're actively participating when you give it your focus, repeating the words. And this kind of focus just accelerates your learning journey because your mind can ask questions about what it is you've just heard, make connections to other examples of that grammar or that piece of vocabulary that you've heard elsewhere. And all those seconds add up to you working with the language and contribute to you learning and improving. And importantly, repeat repeat, repeat, répéter, répéter, répéter. And even when you just passively consume a song, like when you're making breakfast or driving in the car, you find yourself singing along. This is all contributing as well. I think the more time you can actively dedicate to it, the better, but if it's just a supplementary activity, then that's awesome. It's an activity that you find fun in French and you can never have too many of those. When you're early on in your French journey, you might well find songs whose lyrics you barely understand at all. And that's annoying, but it's also fine. C'est normal. Let yourself be drawn in by whatever aspects of the song you like. Maybe it's the few words that you're getting, or maybe it's just the melody. Let yourself get drawn into it because this is your curiosity acting. And curiosity is really key to long-term success. It's your curiosity here to understand the lyrics, understand the message underneath, understand what makes this song so beautiful for you. I always say that you should enjoy what you're doing for French. And if you feel like the things you are doing, you're not enjoying them, choose something else or do what you're doing in a new way. Keep it fresh. And nowhere is it more true than here. Oh, and, and do really focus on the small or tiny wins. Maybe it's something like managing to hear de or je peux instead of je peux on say the 10th listen of a song where you couldn't do it before. That is a win and you should celebrate it and see where that momentum can take you through future listens. That's a reward for your consistency and your dedication on a micro level. Remember guys, progrès pas perfection. Consistency is key. Even if it's in small doses every single day, you are in this for the long run. So really do focus on progrès pas perfection in everything that you do. So learning French through music is a journey worth taking that has really hit home for me in the last 18 months to two years and it will continue to do so for the rest of my French journey. Enjoy the process as much as possible and you'll stick with it for the long haul. Merci beaucoup for tuning in today, dear French learners. Keep practicing, keep listening, keep singing along to your songs with the lyrics in front of you. That can also be a great thing to do. And keep enjoying the beautiful world of French through music. Now, tell me down in the comments, please, your favorite French language songs. And let's create a sort of beautiful collection of music that others can refer to when they come across this video for the first or 50th time. I look forward to seeing your contributions. So that's a wrap for today's episode. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to leave a like. That's a thumbs up down on the video just below the player. It really do helps me to spread what I know about French to other people on the platform. But until next time, remember the French you need to know is often hidden in plain sight. Allez, à la prochaine French learner. Ciao, ciao. L'avenir appartient à ceux qui se lèvent à l'heure où je me couche. L'avenir appartient à ceux qui se lèvent à l'heure où je me couche. Ouais, j'adore. Oh du putain.